Hi, I'm Marie Daniels and welcome. Today we're talking about the five things to do to make sure that you can sell your house faster and at a better profit. So let's start with a stat though that I came across today. Today I came across a stat that said that uh, in the last four months that the average that a person pays towards their mortgage is 34% of their income. So that's a new stat because just four months ago, the average was 24% of a person's income was going to paying their mortgage. So that was huge to me. I thought that that was a big jump. So what that says to me is that people are definitely willing to um, stretch themselves to you know, pay for the place that they want to live in. So they're willing to pay just a little more of their monthly income towards their mortgage. That means it might still be a good choice for you to sell. All right, so here are the five things that I wanted to focus on today about the things that you need to do in order to sell your house faster and at the higher profit, okay? Focus on the outside. Start this project first. And the reason I say that is if you start this project first, you'll notice that sometimes some of the things that you have to do when you're focusing on getting the outside prepared is that those things take a little bit of time sometimes. So this is what I mean. Um, for instance, if you need to rejuvenate the grass because the grass is maybe looking a little haggard, that may take a, a little bit of time. So start that. If the plants need be um, to be refreshed or maybe trimmed up and manicured a bit, start these projects first so that you can get yourself to a point to where you really like what it looks like. You know, fences. Does the fence need to be fixed? Is it leaning? Or perhaps it just needs a little spruce up with just a, a, a power wash and um, a paint job. As far as the power washing and the paint job go, take a look at the house. Does the house need any sprucing up the physical structure as well? You know, does the porch need a little bit of um, assistance? Does the patio and the walkway need to be power washed as well, just so that it gets to be a nice clean slate? Maybe. Uh, you know, so keep these things in mind, focus on the outside first, and you will see that maybe some of those projects that take a little more in time were started and get going. Okay, next, I want you to remember what it's like when you walk into a home that you would potentially like to buy. It, there are things that can distract you. One of those things for people are personal items. These can be distracting because ultimately, we want a potential buyer that comes to see the house. Uh, to be able to see themselves in that house, right? Well, it's hard to do if my picture is everywhere or, you know, or the kids. So that's one of the things you want to do is take yourself and your personal items out of the house so that someone can really kind of get an idea as what it would be like for them to put themselves there. Okay. Next, while you're doing this process, it's a great time to clear the extra clutter. So think about your clutter and what you have and how you can not only, uh, not just put away into deep storage or anything, all of your stuff, but really find a place for things. Find a place for where everything should belong. That way, uh, in the case that you're using those things and you see that there is a little bit of clutter in the house because we all physically live in a home, uh, you want to be able to know that you can quickly uh, just tidy up. So you might as well do the deep clutter um, uh, cleanup and organization anyway. So get that done. It makes the idea of getting things up and ready for a showing so much less daunting. Okay. But it does take time and we all know how much time it takes. So just make sure that you give yourself a little breathing room and you just do it one bite at a time. It can be overwhelming otherwise. So take your time, really plan out how you need to organize your home to actually work with the way that you live in it, as well as make it really quick and tidy or really quick and easy to tidy up when you do have a show and it's happening in 20 minutes. Okay. Do you have a pet? Okay, great. Love it. One of the things you don't want though, is for all of that to be super evident when a person walks into your home though, right? Here's what I mean by that. When you are going through and doing all of these things for your home, you're trying to make sure that you can showcase your home at its very best. So keep in mind, one of those things that can happen with having a pet is it can be messy. Uh, they can take up a lot of space. There are things that they have um, that maybe we can put away. And we absolutely don't want the home to smell like a pet, right? So take care of those things. Make sure you get any kind of residual smells um, out of the house. Um, you want it to be nice, clean, and fresh smelling when a person walks in. Uh, 
having your uh, pet's toys all put away and have a place for them so that they're not strewn about all over the place, obviously, is is quite a big um a, a quite a big to do, but you probably already did that because you already organized and decluttered the house. Uh, next, you know, having food left over in the bowls and just sitting there, we can tidy that up and put that away, right? You know, so these are the types of things that we need to kind of just use a critical eye with when we have a pet. Make sure that you do the same thing. Um, next, staging your home. Do you think that you have the type of furniture, decor, and ability to really pare things down all in your home to where it is the best showcase and presentation for your home. Can someone look at what you have and recognize that it is relatively neutral so that they could imagine themselves living in that home? Well, these are the things that you've got to think about when you're thinking about staging. Talk to your realtor and make sure that they have someone that they've used in the past that they can recommend to stage your home if you feel like it needs a little pick-me-up and sprucing here and there, okay? So these are the top five things. Like I said, focus on the outside. Take yourself out of the house. Uh, remove all extra clutter in place um, and get it organized. If you have a pet, make sure that you take all of the evidence of the pet away and make sure you stage your home if it's necessary. Okay. Well, I hope these things all helped you understand the things that you need to be thinking about and considering when you sell your home. All right. So these are first impressions of a, of a potential buyer. So keep that in mind and we'll see you next week.